Right, so today we're going to be looking at the Band It's Always Sunny episodes. There are five of these, meaning 2.9% of the total show's episodes are banned. I didn't need to mention that at all, but now you know. Now some of you, like me, might not have even known some episodes were banned. So I was really happy when I found out I had five whole episodes to go through. It's like a whole mini-series for me to watch. So we're going to go through each episode and I'll give you my thoughts on each one. We'll rank them for a bit of fun. I'm going to go in chronological order for this. So the first banned episode is America's Next Top Paddy's Billboard Model Contest. The main plot of this episode is a billboard contest, with Frank and Mac being the judges and Dennis being a participant. B-plot, which is the reason this episode is banned, follows Dee and Charlie as they try to make a viral video, so Dee can be up on the billboard. They do this by dressing Dee up as various stereotypes, or characters as Dee calls them. It is absolutely guy. astonishing how bad your ideas are. So, so the episode starts with the gang brainstorming what they're going to put on the billboard. So instead of planning what's going to go on the billboard, Dee and Charlie go off and start working on her viral videos. And as they leave, Charlie says this. Well, we will. Uh -huh. Alright, uh, later dudes, S you in your A's, don't wear a C in jail over your B's. And I ain't got a clue what he was trying to say here, but I think he meant F you in your A's without a C and J all over your P's. So let's look at each of these characters. So the first one is an Irish stereotype, and this isn't the reason the episode got banned, as this character has appeared in a later episode called The Gang Catches a Leprechaun. Her next character is the one I believe got this episode banned. Alright, who the hell is this character that you're doing? Oh, this one? It's a really great one. Her name's Martina Martinez. Which, this is obviously super racist, but so is the Irish one. But streaming services like to pick and choose what's okay and what isn't. But this character will appear later on in the video. But yeah, I don't know what to say about this part, to be honest. It's not really that funny. The only part I liked is when Charlie Dresser's Green Man came out of nowhere to throw the ball at these random guys. And when they all stand up, instead of throwing the ball at them, he just smacks Dee in the face of it, which is a nice touch. Her next character is an Asian woman. I mean, you don't get to see the viral video they make this one, but Dee does get recognised out in public. You saw the YouTube thing, right? Charlie, what is going on? I'll show you later. But she doesn't get recognised for her video where she's dressed out as Martina Martinez. The video she's been recognised for is actually her personal video diary, which Charlie uploaded without her knowing. To be honest, I think they could have just rammed this as the whole B-plot and left out the racist characters, as it wasn't really that funny. But it is what it is. If you're wondering what the others got up to during this episode, well, Frank told Mac and Dennis the billboard's just going to be him and two birds with massive tits on it. And after Frank tells them this, Dennis tells Frank that he's too ugly to be on the billboard. I think we can all agree this man is peak male form. Dennis has chatting a load of waffle. So they decide they're going to do a contest to see who's going to go on the billboard. So they gather some models, and Frank gathers some male models. So he's only done this to outshine Dennis. That's what you want. That is what you call stallion. And then he rigs a bunch of games where he makes Dennis lose, and just embarrasses him the whole time. So what the hell am I supposed to do with a mule? You can't make a mule sexy. While Mac uses his power to shag the female participants. Dominique, you banged me. Like, right away. <laughs> so it's weird to think this guy actually turns out to be gay later on in the show. And yeah, they go through the whole competition, and at the end of the episode, Frank reveals the billboard's been out this whole time, so the competition was pointless. But, nice billboard. But yeah, I like this episode. I particularly enjoy Frank messing with Dennis and making him do his embarrassing and challenges. So the next episode is called Sweet D, Shaping America's Youth. The main plot of this episode is Charlie and Dee are now working at a school. Well, Dee is just a substitute teacher. And when she's in her class, she finds out her students have never been to see live theatre before, so she tells them she's going to take them to New York to see a show. But when she goes to talk to the principal about it, he obviously denies her on the ground that she isn't actually a teacher, she's just a substitute. Knock, 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 uh, am I interrupted? Oh, and Charlie's with a juggler in this scene. So because Dee can't take him to New York, she takes the class to the bar instead to show them a proper show. The problem with this is the guys have all made a film they want to show to the kids instead of what Dee wants to show them. Great! What the hell is this? It's our movie. It's a much more modern day example of blackface. Yeah, it's the most direct way to clear up our argument, Dee. So the film was called Lethal Weapon 5. Man, I ain't seen the first couple though. Don't worry, neither have I. In this film, we get a scene that I wish I had tissues for the first time around. <laughs> anyway, the rest of the episode goes through, and there's only five minutes left, and I'm confused because nothing bad of all has happened yet. Never mind. This is most definitely what the episode banned right here. Matt goes full blackface, but at least the rest of the movie is good. Okay. Wow. I think that video says more than I ever could. As does that. The gang really are a terrible influence. This episode was really good, I liked it, and I can see why it was banned, but the blackface did wrap into the story better than the last episode did. This one's on top for me right now. So the next episode is called The Gang Recycles the Trash, and the plot follows exactly that. Philly has work strikes and the rubbish is piling up. So the gang decides they're going to solve the issue. Get all of this. I've heard all of this before. No? Shut up, bird. If this sounds familiar, it's because it's a similar plot to the gang solves the gas crisis from season 4. But this time around, Frank sets the plan, and his plan is the guards are going to go door to door collecting people's rubbish and dumping it where there aren't any strikes, while him and Dee go off and try to make an embarrassment out of the rubbish companies by using a bribe to get a contract. Frank tells them to go off and get a van to collect rubbish in, but the guys want to go a bit more classy than that. 
So Frank and Dee's part of the plan doesn't work out well due to the official they're trying to bribe as gay and obviously using Dee's body ain't gonna work for that. So they take him to a gay shit club and while debating what type of gay man the official is, we get this little bit which I love. You still here? I thought you'd be gone by now. I can't. You're pointing a gun at me. Oh, I forgot. Luckily, the others are doing much better and off collecting plenty of rubbish. And after a successful day, they realise that the idea wasn't a very dignified one. So they decide they're gonna go dump all the rubbish in a poor part of town. And this is the part that got the episode banned. We're at the workers' strike and Frank is trying to rile up the crowd, but it doesn't work. So Dee, just as Martina Martinez, told you to be back, and this ain't the last time we'll see her either. Despite his outfit being incredibly racist, her words get through to the crowd and they support her. And I think they're all just like, you know, this woman's weird, but she's got a point. And I was like, oh, personally, I feel like if Dee was just still Dee, this still could have worked, but moving on. At the end of her speech, she spots the guys dumping their trash, and the mob goes over to rock the limo back and forth. And I love how Frank's there, encouraging them to damage the limo, even though he's the one that paid for it. This episode was a good watch, though. Not as good as the last one, so it's just going to go in the middle of my list. The fourth band episode is the gangmate Leaf Weapon 6. In this episode, the gang made the sequel to the film that got the second episode we watched banned. I won't go into too much detail on this episode since trying to explain the Lethal Weapon films is a whole video in itself. This episode follows the gang as they try to get funding for their movie, but instead of going to like film companies and stuff, they just go around to banks and other random businesses hoping they'll fork out the cash. None of them do, obviously, partly due to the film being bad, mostly due to Mac being blackface pretty much the entire film. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest, I did not realise that it was Mac for a few seconds when I started watching this. At this point, you've got to respect the balls to the right heads. Like, this was made at a time where blackface was still very much considered wrong, but at least in Leaf Weapon 7, they learnt their lesson. Because you did blackface in the sequel. Oh. Right, the two mistakes. Yeah, well, uh, so did D, actually. Yeah, okay, so three, we have three mistakes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. D also goes blackface in this episode, so it's a very obvious reason why this episode got banned, considering that blackface was used in 50% of it. Anyway, I love the Lethal Weapon films the gang makes, they're always fun to watch, so this is going at the top of my list right now. So, the final banned episode, and quite a recent episode too, from season 14, is called D Day, a day everyone has been dreading. And this gets in the way of the guards' plans, as they can't go off to do their plans due to D being in full control of them for the next 24 hours. So, to get around this, they make a new plan where each one of them executes their part of the plan in poop breaks. So, Charlie goes off to do his part, and when that fails, as usual, he goes back to the bar and he finds the guards all dressed as D's characters from the other episode. <laughs> Charlie, thank God you're here. Go get in the costume. We're up next. Dennis, oh, Dennis, uh, you're off stage. So you, you don't have to do the accent anymore. That's what you suck at everything, Maxie. I say if you're going to do a racist stereotype, you best do it right. I mean, that's a bit much, but... I love this little scene here. It got genuine laughs out of me. But yeah, this right here is the reason it got banned. And this time around, it does make more sense to the plot, though, because Dee is trying to humiliate these guys on purpose with these outfits. And the reason she's dressed them all up is that they can get a little play going. And during the play, we get another moment I wish I had tissues on standby for. Think that's right. And the rest of the episode is really good, but I'm not going to get into it much since it's pretty tame from here. But I do want to talk about how D makes Dennis take off all his makeup and stuff, and I really wasn't expecting him to look like this. What the fuck? So anyway, I know I didn't talk about this episode much, but this goes just below Leaf Weapon 6. So yeah, I saw the balance of all the sunny episodes, and I doubt the list will go, but you never know. Watching them all in a row really did feel like a mini series to me because they all got banned for similar sort of reasons. But I do think they're just banned for the sake of making the streaming services look better because the gang has done so many other offensive things. Like Charlie's like even said the N-word a few times. And it's strange to remove just these episodes. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed my video and goodbye. Bye. <laughs>